I'm gonna go get the energy drink. I'll um I'll be back with the fucking recording. Afterlight by Yeet. What you just saw before before this clip was um me reviewing the album. Well, me after listening to the whole album. Throughout this video, I'll be sprinkling some clips of me reacting to the album. of the album i'll be linking it in the description but um uh, yeah uh i was really dying after that and um this is me after taking a sh getting a shower going for a, for a walk finally back and uh i have enough energy to film this video and hopefully edit it in one day i mean i have like one hour left until the end of the day so i don't think i can edit it fully today but yeah let's just go through my opinion on the album and then the tracks or sorry anything hello it's me anthony fat tano i i disliked the album i was dying throughout it was really boring as hell don't recommend it for anyone who likes some energetic type shit if you want any energetic songs, there's only a handful of them and I'll be showing them at the end of the video. So stick around because you're going to want to, if if you want to listen to some yeet, you're going to only want to listen to these handful of songs. You can really tell that the producer of the album really wanted to make it sound good, but yeet was just not letting him do that. I think that yeet just doesn't fit in this album. He just... If it was switched out with another rapper or anything, I, I think that would be 10 times better than Yeet. And no offense towards Yeet. I love Yeet. He makes really good music. But th there's some tracks where he just, ah, uh, he just sticks out like a sore thumb. He just doesn't fit in at all in the album. Then there's some tracks where I'm like, oh shit. Yeah, this is this is Yeet. This is great. This is this is what I want. I don't want to fall asleep. Spoiler alert, I fall, I fall in asleep like two times throughout the albums. I'm not even joking. So yeah, uh, I think the producer really did a great job. I mean, the beats are heavenly. He is just like a wild dog out of its cage on this, on this album. He's not destroying any of the beats, honestly. Except track 14. That, that is the only one where he actually did a good job. That's the only one where he actually did a good job with being a rapper and doing shit. Because I think he was like high as hell when he was recording this. I looked high when I listened to it. You can you can really see uh, how much I'm dying in this clip. Uh, I just I don't want to be there at all. I just. I was just waiting until I heard the last song and could leave so I could make this recording. But yeah, uh, let's go over to the tracks. My favorite tracks, as I've written it here, is track five. Track 14. It took 14 songs to get a beat down. Track 22. Yo, what is this? Track 20. Finally. It's where Yeet actually sounded like Yeet instead of trying something new. I just, it doesn't fit him. It just, a new thing doesn't, just doesn't fit him. He just has to stick with the thing he's doing right now. I mean, Lil Yachty proved everyone wrong. I mean, I hope Yeet can prove me wrong. I mean, that would be great. I would love to listen to an experimental Yeet album. I mean, I think this is experimental, if anything. And it's trash. I mean, I just, I really did not like how he tried to experiment with his sound. Because if he tried... A few, there was a few parts where I just, I wanted to click off because it was so bad. I mean, track three. What were you thinking? I honestly, what were you thinking? An album is supposed to be a collection of good songs. Not you where you're foaming out of your mouth having a seizure. I, I really think that you can make some great shit as, as in like, 
track 22 the last track i mean that was great that was experimental that was that was something new for him and it actually worked all the other things you tried new were horrible i mean track seven man what the fuck was that what was that what were you thinking what like what in your right mind were you thinking well, you were probably not thinking at all because you were probably on lean. But uh, yeah, I, I don't recommend this to an average Yeet fan. I mean, these are the songs I recommend to an average Yeet fan. If you've only listened to Yeet from TikTok, I also recommend those. Those are the only good ones that actually sound like a Yeet song. And if you want to if you wanna vibe out, uh, I recommend the last track because it's, it's the best song of the album. Like, no joke, it is the best song of the album. With that... I want to give this album a light five. Like this was really disappointing because I was waiting on the album this whole week because I want to record a video about it, this video. And I was just disappointed. I, I, I felt like I got cheated out of, out of like two hours. Well, no, not two hours, like an hour of listening. Cause I really, I really hope that he had made something good, but he'd only made like five good songs. I think, I think he thought of quality, or quantity over quality, because clearly there's 22 tracks. I mean, come on, man, please. Okay, listen. Ye, the only thing I'm asking for, for, the only thing I'm asking, right? Next album, 12 songs, all of them. Just use all the resources you had before using on 22 tracks, and then like spend a year or two. On making a really good album that you'll be remembered for because um i don't think anyone's gonna remember you for afterlife maybe life maybe 4l maybe the right but nobody's gonna remember you because of this album and i really i okay i'm i'm on your side man i really didn't like this album it was like bad as hell so uh yeah with that, um, I'm going to go get sniped from a Yeet fan. See you in the next video where I eat a watermelon while playing CSGO.